All right, we're in the shop uh, modifying some parts for my new transfer case. Um, today we're modifying 1410 transfer case yokes so they'll accept a U-bolt instead of a strap. Um, they, Atlas doesn't offer U-bolt style yokes anymore. So what we're doing is we're actually plunging through the yoke to remove the threads so it'll accept a strap or a U-bolt rather. So the center distance between the threaded holes and the U-bolt are different, so we have to use an end mill um, instead of a drill. A drill would have just followed the, the path of the old hole. An end mill is independent of that hole. You can push it through any material. So what we're doing, at first we're plunging through to remove the old thread, and then we're going to interpolate an arc to give a nice flat spot for a nut to sit to hold the back side of the U-bolt. So this is a Bridgeport type machine. It's actually a sharp with a uh, mill power CNC control. It's a conversational CNC control. And you program it right at the machine. So the hole's complete now. We're interpolating an arc to give a not a place to sit. So this is what the part looks like when we start. It's got threaded holes. When all said and done, it's got a a round hole, a through hole. Um, they don't clean up all the way. There's still a little bit of a thread left in the hole. Um, I don't know, I've been doing this for years and it never really affects it. Um, it doesn't look great, but it certainly gets the job done. Um, the reason we do this is just, I, I like to have one one component as a spare as opposed to a couple different types. So the, the yokes on the axles use U-bolts, so I wanted to use U-bolts on the transfer case. So you can see this just about to finish up. Now it's going to come over and do this. So I don't have a lot of travel in the Z on this machine, so I actually have to program around it so I don't run the tool into the part. So I have a dummy hole programmed over out of the way, and because it, it goes as the flow as the crow would fly from point to point. So we have to kind of plan around that. So now it's just going to keep cutting the parts, uh, drilling holes, and then it'll go along again and repeat and cut a flat spot for a nut. So thanks for watching.